Hello everyone, this is Muhammad Ariza. I record this video to show you how to open a bank account. I'm going to show you all the documents that you need and a little bit of steps that help you. First of all, the location for the Bank of America, especially for non resident the location is in 3717 Hampton Boulevard, Norfolk, Virginia, 23508. It's very close to audio. You can't, you can't go walking if you are living in audio area. It's like four blocks from Dragon Hall. The location how you see it's uh, E the letter is Bank of America ATM and B is the Bank of America the place and how you see here it's Old Dominion University it's not so far how you see like four blocks from Old Dominion especially Dragon Hall and the second things we, we are not in the document yet but the second things you have to make an appointment for the person who is going to help you okay let's go to the document the document the documents the first thing is that you have to have the, the government issue, the issue ID how you see if you have the ID of the United States or the place how you uh, wh where you live or the license because if you have the license or the ID then they are going the person is going to know everything about you your your whole name your address everything so if you don't have the ID you can't bring your passport that's one is work too. The second thing of the documents is you have to have two pieces of mail that you have your name on it. How you see the bill. The bill you can bring your electricity bill or a saving bill. Anything that your name on it, it's work. They don't want anything from this, from the bill. They just want to know if you are here, if you are living here for real or just coming for one week and you're going you go to leave later. This is what, what they need from the, the bill or the mail. The third thing of the documents, you have to have money, normally or the maximum is $100. If you have more, you can you can you can bought it. It's definite for you. But the normally one hundred dollar to active your account for active your account. If you want to deposit later, you can deposit the money wherever you want. I want to I want to let you know about the uh, the important point. You can spend money in one day like one thousand or maybe more but i think after one thousand like if you want to take one thousand from the atm you can you can take more if you take one thousand if you want to take more you have to wait 24 hours to take the money again from the atmt also if you are going to shopping and spend too much money i don't know maybe one thousand or something the the bank the bank is going to stop the your credit card because they scare somebody steal your card and spend the money and take the money everything so they can stop the card so in this time you have to call the bank of America and you talk with them they going they are they are going to take information from you your name and everything your password your account number 
what we think they want. They, 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 I mean, they, 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 they want to know of, of you. So you have to be prepared and you have to know everything about your account. The four things of the document, you have to bring your I-20 form from your school that prove you are here for studying, how you see the I-20, the I-20 form is going to be like this. I, I think you know already, but I just want to show you. The five things in the document, how you see that your post address is already in your license, but if you don't have it, you have to bring your address. And the second point of this of this document and this tip of the document, uh, if your parents are responsible for you and they pay for you, you have to bring statement. They are able to to like they are able to support you during the duration if you are staying in your state. If you are parents not responsible for you you can bring the scholarship from your government your NBC so that help the person to 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 help to finish your uh, your documents So the last things of the document, or the last thing if you finish with the things of the, with the person, uh, you have they they are going to give you a temporary card. How you see like now, to have your name. I mean it's, it's not to have your name, just like customer or something, and the 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 number for the credit card, and the date. After seven days. After seven days. Uh, they are going to give you the normal ID. So, and after that, oh, that's the thing that you need. You have to put a picture on the ID. You have to ask the person about the ID, the picture, because the picture has helped you to number. If somebody stole your cards, you can use it. So I, I recommend you to put a picture and thank you so much for watching my, my video and bye.